Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus. Today we are going to be playing against Sugar Sugar, which is a Darkest One opponent which I have never faced before, so it should be a pretty interesting match. Now I am running what I'm going to call the weirdest Halo comp, because I don't have a Bounty Hunter, <laughs> I have a Crusader without stuns, I, ju I just have a lot of nonsense here. And looks like that's going to be a surrender, so GG's. The weirdest Halo comp is just so intimidating that your opponent just surrender. Let's actually try and do a match now. Alright, and here we go against uh, a Darkest 2 opponent now, <laughs> because they surrendered the previous match. And I get to go first again, are they going to surrender once more? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely a massive deja vu. I think they, they have the exact same setup, and before we have a look at what the hell I'm actually playing here, I'm just gonna drop a battle bell because we're really gonna need it. So, I mean, just looking at this team, just looking at how it's set up, you have a Plague Doctor in position 2. Not even the craziest Plague Doctor Enjoyers bring her in position 2. And I have Numbing Incense and Exotic Snuff on her, which is, um, you know, it's definitely funny. And I'm dropping Emboldening Vapors on the Crusader. And what does this Crusader have? Well, this is kind of an opposite day Crusader. So instead of having stuns, he's an anti-stun Crusader. So he's gonna have Blork of Light, so he eats no damage from the stuns. And he's also gonna have the um, Numbing Instance, so he doesn't get stunned quite as often. And we have a full support Arbals in the back, so if we do get stunned, we can always just flare, which is quite nice. So right now, I could still Blork of Light, but honestly, against this team, I don't think Blork's gonna do that much. So it might plus 30 accuracy and 25% damage, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a nasty Zealous. So this is really just a team that's trying to get Zealous out to just hurt like insane amounts. And other than that, you have a Jester here to actually get the death blows after the Zealouses go down. So my Arbals is actually gonna go for Preemptive Healer on the Jester because he's a really important character. The Plague Doctor is just here to drop Embolding Vapors twice and die. The reason she has these two trinkets is so she doesn't get stunned, because she's in position two, right? She's very likely to get stunned. Other uh, Crusaders, Abominations, Vestals, whatever. So with this, she can at least resist those damn stuns, and she would be perfectly okay to just buff the other characters and let them have all the fun. So, the reason why I have Numbing Instance and Glorious Standard on my Crusader is so I don't go afflicted and get like fearful or something, you know, at least it's gonna take ages. And so I also don't get pushed to the back, because with 55% move resistance, it's not so easy to push someone to the back. So right now I have plus 40 accuracy, plus 50% damage. Come on, let me see those big numbers, yes, the dopamine, 17 on the Shield Breaker, holy Mary Mother of Joseph, that is... That is more than half your HP on the double uh, character hitting ability, without a crit by the way. That is really nice. We could drop her down to zero here, but that won't really accomplish too much for us. I could also heal myself, could heal the Jester. Uh, healing the Jester only heals him for five, so it's really not worth all that much. I'm just gonna heal myself here. Thing is, the support Arbals isn't really gonna be that impactful this match, because she has no nothing to flare. Uh, really, you know, she could have flared the days, but bah, who cares. Uh, she doesn't really have too much that she wants to flare, and not only that, she also can't really cure the DOTs uh, quite quite as well. So right now I could drop a Harvest, which will make it so if I do get to Bleed, she's going to be at this store and uh, with Serpent Sway, so that would be nice. Or I do have... Uh, I just have one damage buff. Uh, he only has Redeem. Mm, he's going to be able to... Uh, you know what? Screw it. I gotta drop my. Uh, I got. To, I gotta drop my finale soon. So they're probably gonna go puncture on my uh, plague doctor. No, they're gonna go captivate. Oh, did they get the days actually? Look at that silly ability with 100 accuracy, just hitting my jester twice. Oh, well, how how is that fair? I guess they do have those things going for them. Now I definitely have to heal myself here. Give me a crit 24. Wow, it could not be worse than that. Okay, thank you, Arbals. You've, you've done your job at least. Kind of. You've kind of done your job. They're gonna click here preemptively, which is um, a bit scary. Come on, Exotic Snuff. Work for me. Exotic Snuff, what are you doing? Yeah, with 5% move resistance, <laughs> you know, Exotic Snuff isn't really gonna change too much for you. I was hoping it would, you know, it could have changed the world, but it didn't. I'm gonna drop the Zealous now, and uh, I do hit the Shield Breaker first before I hit the Flagell, so she dropped the Death Star and then she healed. That's how it works with these two character hitting abilities. 
Flash one can just reach out of this source. That means he's not gonna have the damage buffs, but it also means that uh, I mean, no, he does still have damage buffs, but he's not gonna have the plus five accuracy, plus twenty percent damage from being at this store. What I can do right now, though, which is uh, mostly because you kind of threw yourself under the bus here with the flat round, is that I can drop an incision because you did heal for three, but you know, three isn't really enough to prevent incision from dropping you down to zero. And now I can go for a Dirk Snap. I am dropping to this store, but the Dirk Snap is at 55, and if I take it, I would be so happy, but I didn't take it, and now my world is gonna crash. Please don't. Oh, okay, there's a bit of justice in this world. I have to finale someone. Who do I want to finale here? Yeah, especially because I've got to bring my Crusader back into back into the fold. I could finale the Flash Hunt, I could finale the Shield Breaker. Uh, Flash Hunt's really important, but he doesn't have Exagonite. Screw it. Let me go for that Shield Breaker. The Serpent Switch is so freaking annoying to deal with. I'm just gonna get rid of her now. I think that's better. I think that is overall better. They can finale one of my characters, but honestly... That's not a confirmed kill, because I have 20 prods with the medic's full plate, and they surrender again. They are trigger happy on those surrenders, just look at this, the weirdest Halo comp just pulling through in a horrible matchup. Um, you know, definitely a horrible matchup, not for the Halo comp itself, Halo comp would have a really good matchup against this, because you have accuracy, you have bleeds, you have stuns, but the weirdest Halo comp does still have bleeds, but it doesn't have stuns, and, and just eats a lot of DOT, so yeah. GG's to my opponent, and let's go for a match number three, because these were just way too fast. Alright, and now we are fighting against a Subter, a Darkest 3 opponent. Interesting that their name didn't actually show up, it just showed like Sub. And then like two, um, like you know, two little dots, because that's usually what happens when someone has too big of a name. But that only happens when their name is huge. That's not a huge name. I have no idea how that happened. But yeah, they're an Arcus opponent, and they have another DOT team. Looks like people are loving the DOT today. Maybe they they have been facing way too many strength teams, and they want something to counter it. So it looks like we're going to be facing Flash onto it. Uh, Last breath, color, Hank of Life. So. Full on Death Lord's Essence, I respect it, I respect that Sigma grind set right there, and uh, I do manage to resist the bleed, which is quite nice. They didn't even go Battle Valve before that, by the way, Jesus, just no Fs given. Okay, I will just drop an Emboldening Vapors on the Crusader, and you know the drill, we're gonna start spamming those Zealouses, hopefully hit the Grave Robber. Thing is, um, Zealous only has 90 accuracy base, so you really need the plus 40 accuracy from all these buffs, because without it, you're just not gonna hit these dodgy characters. Even with it, uh, it's just, it's still gonna be a little bit difficult to hit them. This is definitely a heal turn, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna drop the Zealous and, oh, that's so good. <laughs> Almost a 20 on that freaking Zealous. No damage trinkets, by the way. Yeah, it's super rare that you get a crit with Zealous, but that Monkey Spot actually really hell helping us out here <laughs> because of the crits. And yeah, I have 10 bleed on me, like, this is obvious. You have Medic's full plate, you have good heals, you cure bleeds, like, just keep your Jester alive. You really need a Jester in this team, because not having the regular strength of the Halo comp, which is just getting kills with Bounty Hunter Arbalest, you really need something to give you a character advantage, and uh, that's the Jester here. And it's a Jester for you. So I'm gonna give myself more damage, because I want a confirmed hit chance, and I want to drop this uh, Crave Robber down to zero. I don't think I could even not do 11 right now. That's that's how crazy this is. And of course, after we do 11, I have a 60% death will chance incoming, even if you guard, because uh, my opponent's team is kind of funny, you know. They do not have... Um, they do not have a lot of uh, defense, it's just mostly purely aggressive team. And there we go, the Grave Robber is down to zero, she's probably gonna drop a Shadow Fate here to stay alive. I could flare, but I don't have anything to follow it up, so it wouldn't make too much sense. I do get to go first, so I can just drop a Finale on the Flash if I want to. And... ooh, okay. They have one damage pass, so they do 9 to 16. I'm gonna go down to... how much? How much is that? Minus 8, 16. Oh, that's a lot of pulse damage, but I don't think it's enough, honestly. Yeah, I genuinely don't think it's enough. I'm gonna drop a Dark Snap here. It's not gonna matter, because after I kill the Flash once, they're all just gonna get healed. But I really hope they don't have enough damage. Yeah, they don't go for it immediately. I mean, with these two trinkets, plus 40% damage like makes a huge difference. They could they could have enough damage there, but uh, now I'm just gonna heal here. Like, no questions asked. Just heal your Jester, make sure you get the Finale off. 
and make sure that you take a that you take a double here. So going first is still very impactful, no matter if you're playing the Halo Comp or the weirdest Halo Comp. Look at that, eight damage on the Harvest. Jesus, that is just something else. And now, of course, I'm not going to let them get away with Redeem. I'm just going to drop the finale here. Like, just no questions asked. Especially with all that death lore resistance there. Let's just completely ignore it and have some fun. So now, sadly, I do not have the starting Blast, which I just realized is a huge mistake because... I mean, I'm never going to use Battlefield Medicine anyway. So I should have probably brought that uh, just to keep myself happy for a bit. Surprised they don't go for a finale, but I mean, who would they finale at this point? I'm just gonna drop a Zealous and I'm gonna act after whatever happens here. Look at that, I take away half his HP, that's like an average roll. My god, that is brutal. Even if you had Monkey Spawn, my hit chance would still be a 90, by the way. Okay, I am dropping to 0 HP here. I kinda don't wanna die with a Plague Doctor, even though she's not very useful. You do wanna keep a character, right? It's just another action for you, it's it's good. It is. It is always good. So I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna heal her here and then enjoy myself. So cure all that nasty bleed, and of course, just natural cure bleed is so good on the arbalist. And you can heal for just a touch more with this. That's probably still gonna drop me down to zero. When I say probably, I say like guaranteed because uh, flashing daggers after shadow fate kind of just hurts a lot, even with no damage trinkets for it. Now I could drop a noxious blast. Uh, I could get rid of the corpse actually. Mm, yeah, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. Let's do this, and now the corpse is definitely going away next Zealous. Maybe I could have dropped an incision, but no, it's definitely going to go away next Zealous, so that's fine. Yeah, that's good for us. They do have a Hound Sammy here, but no finishers, so they don't get a single death blow. That's really good, actually. Compared to what usually happens to me, that is really good that they don't get a, a single death blow there. You know, to me and to everyone else that has played the Butcher Circuit before, because you know those 25s aren't fair. So there goes a Grave Robber, probably with another Flash and Daggers. This one shouldn't do enough damage to my Arbalist, and yes, it doesn't. Like, Doctor is gone, but she did her... Uh, she she pulled her worth, so I'm not going to complain one bit. And I just drop a Zealous here. He's not quite at zero, which is sad. It is quite sad, but my Crusader is still kind of far away from going down. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, that's my Jester gone. This is going to be rather close, because my Crusader really has to carry here. The rest of the team is just gone at this point. It's <laughs> like, literally gone. So the Crusader needs to do some hardcore carrying. I might get stunned here, but I do have Snuff and Namaginson, so my chance of getting stunned isn't that huge. And we drop a very, very big cells on that uh, Grave Robber. She gets crit again, by the way, because of the Monkey Spawn. And Monkey Spawn is really not helping you, because with 7% crit base, a 3% increase Increase is like, what is it, like 40% increase on actually getting a crit? <laughs> it's weird how the math works, but it is. Okay, I could drop a sniper shot there. I do have battle ballot, so my accuracy isn't that terrible. I'm not going to test star. Uh, oh, she just decides to move forward. Well, I guess that's a bullet turn then. Ow, oh, 75. Oh, of course they went selfish for that extra little dodge. Oh, oh man, I really need this Crusader to pull through. This is going to be so close. This is going to be epic. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording this epic match. One Zealous and that Jester is probably getting afflicted too, so that's that's kind of nice. I am going to get dropped here by the Harvest. Do I want to heal myself or do I want to do something else? I'm mostly scared for that Grave Robber action because she can really hurt my Crusader, which is the character that I'm mostly scared of here, obviously. Mostly scared of getting hurt with, because he's the one that's actually going to carry. So I'm going to heal here with the Arbals. I think that if my opponent is smart, they 100% just focus on the Crusader now. Oh, they're smart. Okay, they go Panic Dodge, which I think is weird. I think just dropping, like, a lunge or something, even if it only does, like, 15 damage, it would have been better for that immediate pressure, but here you go with the Zealouses, and that's two characters at that store for you. Oh, these Zealouses just hurt so much! Yeah, like, all this damage was dealt by Zealous. All this freaking damage. Okay, Irrational on the Jester, that's really good. <laughs> and the doggy isn't quite afflicted yet. I do not have extra death vote chance on him, because I don't have the rate of execution. Oh god. I'm against since please. Please, no, Numbing Instance, you absolute joke of a trinket. But they pass, thankfully. Oh, do I want to flare? Or do I want to... Uh, uh, I need the death blows, come on. Oh, I got one, I got one, that's so good that I actually got one death blow. I didn't, the corpse is going to stay there, which sucks. 
Because now Zells can only hit one character, but that's one character down, so that's really good for me. They're gonna go Panic Darts. They can't really stress me out. Look at my stress resistance. <laughs> it's minus 50 stress taken, it's amazing. And I can heal for quite a bit more with the Rally to the Flame, but with all the DOT that's on me, yeah, probably not. So, here goes another Hounds Harry, he gets rid of the corpse. Oh man, am I dropping down to zero? Oh, I am too. I'm gonna drop a, a bullet here. Come on, bullet, don't let me down. Oh my god, Arbalus, I should have given you finisher. Look at this, look at the freaking work she's pulling through. That's insane. I think my opponent's lost already. Was this like a 2v4? I think it was a 2v4, or was it 2v3? No, I think it was 2v3. Yeah, but that is brutal, man. I'm gonna drop down to zero here. I'm gonna heal, right? I think this is a healing turn. I could also Zealous. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna heal. I heal myself for six, minimum, so that's good. If I do get a crit, I'll heal myself for more. I think just spamming heals here to keep the Arbalest alive is probably the smartest thing to do. You're gonna drop a Panic Tarts. Am I at risk? Oh, I'm dead. No, if I heal, I'll be okay. Yeah, I have to heal here. I'm gonna go afflicted, right? Yeah, I am gonna go afflicted. I don't know, maybe I should have dropped the Zealous. This is still really close. I go paranoid. Oh god, please don't stun. Okay, thank goodness. I'm gonna drop the heal now again. I'm still not getting crit heals. Getting crit heals with Crusader is super good. But yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not dead yet. And I get to... Oh my god, Arbalest! Arbalest, you queen! Queen of the Death Wolves! I'm thinking of changing her name. Like, how do you get so many death bullets? I usually bring finisher on her, but I didn't even bring the finisher. She got like three kills. Yeah, that is brutal. Well, GG's to my opponent. That was remarkably close. Could have been closer if my Arbals wasn't such a such a queen. I guess I did mention those 25s being, un, uh, being kind of unfair earlier. And they are. They are really unfair. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this uh, silly and funny team. Hope y'all enjoyed the matches, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.